Wow. <clears throat> so I hope you know all are excited for one more Sunday system, right? Oh, I can see so many beautiful faces over here. Superb. Yeah, I want you to this keep this same. This meeting is being recorded. I want you to keep the same energy, okay, throughout today. Because trust me, guys, today your life is going to change, okay? I, I remember, you know, you used to travel places to attend systems. But today it is coming at your home itself, yeah, in your comfort zone, true? But you know what? That is very, very important, okay? And thanks to, you know, our appliance, VP Kavita and VP Sachin Bhai, that we are getting such kind of an opportunity, okay, right, to learn something from amazing and successful people around the world, right? To be grateful and value these two hours what we are going to get today, okay? So I hope you are ready. Super, great. Now, let me tell you by the time, by the way, I'll introduce myself. My name is Bhushan and I'm not the speaker of the day, right? But you know what? I'm here to set some ground rules, okay? Before we are, you know, grasping something important, getting some knowledge, learning, we should be ready, right? Now, first and foremost, the most important thing I will tell you, okay? If you are attending on a laptop, switch off your mobile. Very, very important. And tell everyone at your place, you know, do not disturb for another two hours. Can we do that? I, I should get some confirmations from you, okay? Right? And the most important thing, okay? Sit properly, okay? So Sunday system is like a temple for all of us, okay? So that's why I'm saying you, you know, it is very important you to sit erect, okay? And be in that seeking zone always, right? Protect your mind from unnecessary thoughts. You know, there is one occasion, auspicious day here. It's called as Mahashivratri on, on that night, we stay awake because some kind of cosmic energy, you know, is, is, is actually we are receiving that at that time. Okay, and that, and that time you should be erect, sitting erect. Okay, because it really helps, you know, for your body, soul, and mind. It is said that, you know, there is a, some science behind that. And imagine at that time, you're putting your legs on the table and sitting like this, leaning behind, you know, yawning, sitting like this, you know, you will not get anything. It's your loss. Now, Sunday, early morning, it's the same time, you know. You should be sitting erect to grasp maximum. And it is, hel every, it is healthy for your bank balance also. It is healthy for your growth, personal growth also. Okay? And trust me, today's system, whatever you are going to get, it will not be repeated. So don't even think of getting distracted anywhere. Okay? Keep a glass of water with you. Okay? Don't take any breaks in between. It is hardly for one and a half or two hours max. Is that clear? Right? And as a ritual, we say, empty your cup. Yeah? So whatever thoughts you already have in your mind, please remove it. Okay? Please remove everything from your mind. Uh, whether Saturday was good or not, how about this week, everything. Okay? And keep your cup empty and protect yourself from all the distractions around. Right? And I will, I will suggest you to give complete trespass to the speaker today. Because she is such a beautiful soul. She will enter your mind and change everything, I'm telling you. And from there, your business, your everything, personal growth will go to the next level, I'm telling you. Okay? So allow that to happen. So she is not going to tell you anything, you know, which will entertain you or something like that, or motivate. She will tell you something which is important for you. Right? So be like a sponge. Why I'm giving you so many examples? Because I want to hammer that thought because nothing, nothing should disturb you in between. Okay, be like a sponge. Keep your mind open like a parachute. Okay, parachute works best when it is open, right? So, 
keep it open always right so you know because and also i am saying like you know today once this system is over you know i'm 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 telling you you will say thanks to your upline after that you know you will have that gratitude that somebody presented you this amazing opportunity right and that's a guarantee i'm so sure about it so talking about the speaker today i mean she is everything for me okay and she had a beautiful corporate career right for many years but then again she realized that this corporate career career is not going to fulfill all her dreams and at that time she took a decision to do this business full time and rest is history and can you believe today she is a diamond star max out guys immense experience of this business okay we are going to get today and also she is a v ambassador getting my point so you know she is one of the most important pillar of you know the organization called as v okay which was initiated by none other than dr shri vijayeshwaran please clap right so you know are you excited so i remember you know she is the one who took my welcome i got introduced to this business because of her and that day she asked me just one question bhushan are you ready to change and i was like yes you tell me okay because i want to have an amazing life i am very much uh, you know serious about my dreams okay and that sparkle and that glitter i saw in her eyes angel eyes i will say you know that confidence she said i am there with you and it's been many years now you know almost 7 years plus in the business and she is still standing strong with me so i am not just only one there are many others you know whose lives are touched and changed permanently for better you know by this person correct so you know she i have always seen her on the ground with each and every person in the organization okay she is family to everyone okay so today also she sits with all the new people who have started this business you know gets familiar to them because their dream are her dreams actually right so every person is very very important for her in the organization so such kind of uh, you know a sister love is there for everyone in the organization and that's why we love her so much okay so i have actually seen her journey her commitment from those days when she used to stay at dombivali this journey from dombivali to dubai is simply awesome and it, it was in front of my eyes and i always feel that she has always lead by example and it happened because she is a 100% follower the best example of sub- submission to our uplines and many a times i got inspired from this only you know and it helped me to grow in the business right and you know what only you know once she was you know uh, I, i remember when she was pregnant okay the only day she didn't talk to me was the day on her delivery you know rest of the days when she was pregnant you know she was flying around the world taking care of team taking modules running here and there and i was worried like you know you know please take care and she was like she was like nothing will happen okay so that kind of commitment she has got you no know, for the business for the dreams of the people in our organization right and trust me she is not only the success story but she has created n number of success stories in our organization okay so you know i personally feel that you know she is like a lakshmi for me okay the goddess okay who entered my life and created abundance not only for me but my, for my entire family you know 
my entire family always always talk about her and even my son he is always eager to meet her okay so that kind of gratitude my entire family has for her okay so same thing i want you know i really want that allow her to come inside your life your minds and make the necessary changes okay and help you to become a better person okay so that you will be able to visualize your own potential ha huh? if you change yourself for better it will take care of your entire family and all your dreams okay so are you ready okay but but you know what there is a secret i will tell you i know her very well i i know if you really want to get the maximum energy give some energy to her okay so i want you all to respond so many people i see they are still you know they are not responding you can do thumbs up you can clap you can smile if you do that you will get more and more so are you hungry for more if yes then you should respond be here 100% move do something that you know be in that inhibition mode sorry you know shed your all your inhibitions don't think who is looking at me who is there you know be what you are is that is that clear super super great so i'll not take much time of her because each and every minute is very very important and she has to tell lot of things okay so without wasting time i would like to invite you know my sister my bestest friend my dearest sister you know i will say we see pooja veragi wala over to you pooja good morning good morning everyone can sit down sit down okay a very good morning to everyone and i hope i'm audible okay all right okay so uh, thank you bhushan um uh see when i when i think about him okay he is uh, one such person i should say where you don't have to think twice before talking okay and ye you know when is this possible this is only possible when you talk to your friends okay this is only possible when you have the best relationship with them right so when you know that no one is judging you okay when you know that you know you can uh, you know they are more like your friends they are more like your family and they are a family okay a family where a relationship is going to be there forever and ever and ever right so i think uh, uh, more than him i have a gratitude to him okay so thank you bhushan and uh, thank you uh, in service team all the translators rahul okay thank you so much okay for selflessly doing this okay and uh, i really respect you for that thank you so much okay so yes a very good morning to all of you and uh, uh, how many people today <laughs> honestly bata raha hu guys i'm sure in some places there are rains in some places there is a beautiful weather in some places it's like uh, you know like this a sunny morning so how many people today honestly got a call from your uplines miss mat karna don't miss it okay <laughs> you know they you know some of you are really lucky okay uh, who actually would have got some uh, you know some wake up calls also okay like reminder calls wake up calls okay and reconfirmation calls okay so are you there okay i ha- uh, hope your net is good okay and uh, so i think first of all okay you should really say a thank you to all your uplines okay because see this is not uh, this is not kra okay this is not something which is like a uh, uh, mentioned in the roles and responsibilities of a, like you know like a typical uh, roles and responsibilities of a, of a, an upline or a referrer okay this is just done because uh, honestly they love you a lot okay so uh, 
you should be really lucky okay that uh, you know you have people like this in your life okay who sometimes maybe some of your uplines you don't even know them okay and when they do this for you okay i think this is where my heart really melts okay and uh, i think this is one of the reason okay why uh, i'm on in this journey since uh, close to now 10 years okay so uh, see when you know when when you are very new okay so for the people who are attending the system for the first time okay a huge round of applause for you okay this is one of the first decision okay uh, towards success okay that at least you took the decision not to miss anything that is required for your growth okay so welcome to everyone who is attending the system for the first time okay and see i remember my first system okay so i was all like you know uh, you remember the days when you go to the picnic okay <laughs> when you go to the picnic okay you you don't get sleep at night okay do you remember those days okay you just don't get sleep at night okay and uh, you are awake till uh, you know like 4 o'clock 5 o'clock and then you know suddenly 7 o'clock you need to uh, finally you get a sleep but 6 6:30 you have to wake up so there's a lot of excitement there is lot of curiosity there is lot of uh, you know there is lot of key i had that feeling that you know wow it's my first system okay and you know i had i also had that feeling like i used to feel wow i am invited for the system you know like i used to feel so lucky that you know keep, like there is somebody who is giving me that much importance <laughs> okay this is what was my feeling okay so uh, i still remember my referrals rakesh akshida okay uh, vc gautam used to actually give a call okay that have you left from home okay have you reached the system okay and i don't know from day one it was always an uh, attitude that we used to we used to stand in the line okay almost for one one and a half hours i still remember we used to travel from dumbabli okay and we all used to go uh, with rakesh lal and akshada like a mama and papa okay and we all kids used to go in that train okay and we all used to carry our sacks okay because it was my first system and then no then we used to i used to wait for that sunday and wednesday system that point of time okay wednesday system was during the evening time but sunday system was during like in the morning time same way okay where we used to travel almost one and a half two hours one way to reach the system before time okay not or not something which is on time because um, as that has been taught to me in the business uh, on time is being late right and we used to enjoy okay so it was not about that half sleep okay i don't know the whole excitement <laughs> monday to friday where i used to get so bored to wake up in the morning okay but then sunday morning i used to wake up with a lot of excitement okay i used to feel i'm going to learn something new i'm going to enjoy it right so first of all when you come for the system okay don't forget to carry your smiles okay because of you okay see understand one thing okay when when this business came to your life when this business came to my life okay something new happened okay something exciting came into picture okay maybe initially a lot of hope where where i knew in my heart things is going to change okay where i knew in my heart that my routine is going to change i knew in my heart that you know initially one or two days okay i was seeing that i was i was really enjoying the whole vibes of association okay i was really enjoying uh, spending time with people okay i was really learning so much it was a completely new world for me never done business in my life okay uh, yes my dad had it but that was like 30 years back i i don't know i was just a baby that point of time and the business was no more uh, within three, when i was 3 uh, years old the business was no more after that so i didn't knew uh, how to do the business i didn't knew what kind of mindset is required to do the business okay i didn't knew that uh, you know uh, there has to be a perfection okay i didn't know anything okay i just decided one thing that once the decision taken now no looking back okay and that's why i was very excited very 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 excited from day one the only thing that used to come into my heart was what next 
what next what next okay because i used to literally ask questions to my friends <laughs> that you know like uh, can i do this business like you know can i what can i do in the train when i was traveling in the train okay what can i do uh, when i have a break okay what can i do uh, when i'm traveling back to association from the office right what can i do when i reach home after the association because i was not knowing anything okay business was beautiful i knew one thing there's lots of money i knew that's for sure but i knew more than that i have the you know i have the people with me who has lot of heart okay and i i don't know if you ever felt that okay but i used to feel that that i need somebody in my life to hold my hand okay because i won't be able to reach the finish line because i didn't had that much confidence um not on the business but on me initially okay because as i said never never had an exposure even to talk to people <laughs> okay never had an exposure even to like i had a set of friends okay but that was my life okay never seen life beyond that like you know vp sachin sir always says that you know you you don't know what you don't know right so i also didn't know a lot of things right but i was open i was ex- absolutely open to explore i don't know how i never used to get any uh, any questions which is like why to do that and why this is not there okay i never used to get this two kind of a questions okay because i didn't knew maybe what question to ask okay so sometimes you know um, i used to feel literally like a dump maybe some, <laughs> maybe still i don't know okay but sometimes i i you know sometimes uh, i feel sometimes you know uh, just to look intelligent uh, sometimes there are questions that come and we ask right but then i exactly that's what my point was that i didn't knew what questions to ask okay i knew it is one thing i knew what was it that it was a life institution for me okay and when i talk about a life institution i knew one thing there is no looking back there is no looking back see what happens uh, usually okay when you know when when a system happens okay and uh, you know like bhushan said that don't judge okay so when the system happens okay still okay we we try sometimes to judge okay we we try sometimes to uh, you know uh, sometimes some people try to judge that uh, like really like you no know, like does this really work okay uh, is this concept really good um, you know are these people really making so much money okay is is that really so much money in this business okay and uh, you know we think that will i be able to do it okay and uh, we think that you know uh, the people who take system we sometimes feel that oh they have completed their journey okay uh, they made their millions okay but uh, you know what uh, i wanted to tell you that uh, when the system happens okay uh, this is not someone who where a paid professional motivational speaker comes and talks to you to motivate something about life no it's not that okay it's more about something where you get inspired why because the see there is there is no system have you heard any system what not to do mistakes in network marketing <laughs> okay have you heard something like that no it's not like that okay it's it's something what speaker has done okay they come and only tell you this okay so don't think that you know they are so senior okay see the only today i would set my ground rule that only intent uh, would be to touch your heart by any way okay maybe in in the whole conversation that we do today maybe even one thing that you can take it back okay may not be i may not be able to teach you but share it with my experience okay i think it's sorted okay so i was exactly like you exactly like you okay when i say exactly like you like you know like you know i used to have a lot of mixed feelings okay there was excitement there was happiness there was curiosity okay there was like you know there was a dream 
you know when i used to uh, when i used to see system when i used to see uh, speakers okay so there was a dream that you know one day i also want to you know like i don't know how to do that okay but one day of course there was a dream that okay one day i also want to go and uh, talk i don't know what to talk okay so what you should be able to see is that you no know, you should whenever you sit with anyone or you hear any trainings or you hear any systems okay i used to really see the love what people carry in their hearts and i used to really feel that okay and i enjoyed in my i think what i remember about my 10 years journey is i really enjoyed the process of growing up trust me okay it's like you know when when you know it's like when you are kids okay and um, uh you know we when you are kids we don't keep saying that you know when we will grow up okay when we will become mama when we will become papa okay so we don't we don't keep saying that okay we enjoy the process okay so what i remember out of my 10 years was i really enjoyed the process of growing up and i think this is what we all forget that you do you have to enjoy also over here okay and that's why see it's important to smile that's why it is important to laugh because you you already have that gold mine with you okay and when i used to go to association to meet my clients and spend lot of time with them okay one thing i always used to keep thinking that what what you know, what what hard work okay what commitment what dedication okay so so many things okay for example let's say my my refers okay when it was rakesh and akshita okay that point of time they had night shift okay but still okay they, it is never that they have missed my call it is never that they haven't replied me any point any time in, in the day and uh, you know if you see like you know when i spend a lot of time with uh, vc gautam also okay like so much hard work he would always be on the calls and i used to get lot of vibes from you know all my applicants okay whether it is vp kavita vp such and that when he used to sit in the bandra association that point of time that that you know this this loyalty really inspired me because i used to keep feeling that you no know, after all this also if these people are on ground i really want to work with them okay i really want to grow in life right and usually like you know like that vibes used to come is not only in uh, talks it's not only in uh, conversation okay it the vibes used to come in 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 productivity in work okay i didn't know what to expect about results i was not i like i really didn't know what to expect in terms of results okay but there were dreams there were goals okay there was something where i knew i wanted more freedom okay i knew i wanted more money i knew i wanted more time and i knew for sure that if i want this all three things i don't want to limit myself okay in in exploring like how exactly you know uh, a networker would spend the whole day okay whether i was in the job whether i was a full timer okay i was i was wanting to know that you know like what next okay what next that's what that's what came into my mind and that is why i was very very clear that i wanted to work okay i didn't wanted to run away from work see i have seen my parents okay and i'm sure you that's i think uh, an example to all of you also in your house also okay that uh, i think there are one such example along with our appliances okay where they were multitaskers okay they they wake up in the morning okay they finish everything the house chores okay and uh, they go to the job they come back okay they go to the business they come back okay and uh, the whole day okay never never uh, i've seen my mom without a smile okay so any for any of my stupid uh, silly things okay that i go to her okay she has never said that you know i don't have time okay and uh, don't come to me right now and uh, you know like uh, uh, don't don't you see i'm very busy okay and um, you don't understand only that i'm so busy okay so i've never seen all i've never heard all this even from my uplinks okay so somewhere 
maybe that ne never used to come out of my mouth also uh, even in my non verbal facial expression that you know that uh, no no i'm very busy right now and you know sometimes some you no know, it's it's a simple thing sometimes when you are sitting and some suddenly somebody says a uh, hi okay and you don't even smile and say a hi okay so i think uh, you know sometimes uh, when i say that you know what to do in the whole day okay like do do you get that curiosity at times that uh, what a networker does in the whole day and uh, do you get that questions in your mind sometimes that uh, you know the days are just passing out <laughs> okay the days are just passing out okay and uh, we feel that we sometimes it comes in the mind that we do a lot of things right we do a lot of things but still end of the day we feel actually nothing happened okay actually the day was not very productive right so see first thing that you need to understand this okay what is a networker okay what is a networker what do you feel okay what does the word mean okay networker networker means to find work in the whole day right that's what a networker means okay and when you when you find work in the whole day and when you are so you know so engrossed in the activities that you are supposed to do in the whole day right so only then when the work is over this is the time there is a decision to have a sleep this is what i feel when i talk about a networker which means that you know it's like uh, right from the you know like i i'll talk about it okay right from the, you start your day with whichever way and till you end your day okay so apart from your calling activity plans okay whatever you do whatever you do related to business everything comes by default okay it's like for example uh, when you get married okay so when you get married okay you you don't count things right you don't keep counting things okay so what all things you did okay what you do is even in any kind of a relationship whether it was marriage or whether it is any kind of relationship what you do is you just decide to give your best that's it there is no a manual there is nothing called as like an hr manual okay what a networker should do in a day okay but the most important thing is i feel that you know uh, there has to be a control and a grip on a daily routine and a control and a grip on a daily routine will help you to finish all the task that you decided for that day okay so there are lot of lot of th such things okay for example like on like what what no like for example declaring your dreams okay dreams happen you know when we talk about dreams okay and uh, when uh, when we think that oh does that really happen okay but dreams happen the start of the dream also happens only when you are on ground that's the time the start of the dreams happen and does not matter how big are the dreams what matters is how long you live your dream in your heart whether you are sleeping whether you are awake it doesn't matter it doesn't matter right and when when the dream is awake in the heart you are actually awake all the time even when you are sleeping right so it is not that hard to stay organized it's not that hard to plan your day because you know that in your heart to finish your dream you just have one life and you just have in one day 24 hours right so you really need to plan your day now whether you plan your day by writing on the paper whether you plan your day in a calendar whether you plan your day on an excel whether you plan your day with see that's that's up to you okay so you know there are a lot of time people say that you know i have a time management issue okay now when i say time management issue okay 
see i would say this business is not about managing time this business is about managing your focus right and your focus needs to be managed okay so see your focus should be such you no know, that your focus doesn't understand any other language except winning except being successful i think that's what is required and see when you want to be a winner when you want to be successful your your passion your fitur your junoon actually should go to an another level right and you have to understand in your heart to achieve your dreams okay where which is in your heart like every time the heart pumps every time the breath happens the only thing that comes out is your dreams so in that case i felt that i had lot of zid like you know lot of lot of stubbornness okay where i didn't wanted to live a life of compromises and when i say i didn't wanted to live a life of compromise i was pretty clear on that compromise in terms of money compromise in terms of time compromise in terms of living a life of freedom compromises in terms of making smallest decision to big decision i didn't wanted to do that i didn't wanted to feel guilty after that like oh i should have do, done that oh i wasted time oh you know so see you should you should start staying with people who don't settle for less okay because see in the, you it's it's not about like you know it's not about being satisfied also right so it's not about for example that uh no it's okay i don't want to i don't want big big things okay i want this the small little thing then i'm happy with that okay i think this whole thought process also sometimes okay for me it was a very selfish feeling okay where i was only thinking about myself i was not thinking about what my family wants i was not thinking about whether i will be lead by example even for my daughter okay so i didn't wanted to wanted to get over there and that is why i learned that you know to to have a successful day in a networker's life you should start doing everything 10 times in every aspect of life in every aspect of life right and that is why you have to start learning from the best from the best okay sometimes uh, you know uh you also know in your heart sometimes you know it is the laziness that comes in between so for laziness also the dream is only solution and you have to take that conscious efforts that conscious efforts that you know that no i i can't live a life like this which for me it was a mediocre life before and i had accepted it and i didn't wanted to live a life like this where i would enjoy yes maybe 8 hours inside the blanket and maybe have a pleasure of sleeping okay but i would rather want to enjoy maybe after few years a life in switzerland in the same blanket but having a bigger bigger pleasure right because that's why i didn't wanted to settle for a mediocre life okay and that is why i had certain priorities in my life and i knew in my heart that i am accountable for my responsibilities i can't run away from that and i didn't want to run away from my responsibility because it was all about commitment and i had seen my uplines okay working day and night okay and have seen how patiently they had shown my plans also initially when i had like no i had no uh, no results that point of time so that is why you know i i i decided to tune my brains see everybody likes to have that short term pressure okay that sleep okay short term not waking up once in the morning okay coming to association at 4 o'clock okay this is all short term pressures right so that is why i started tuning my brains that you know i wanted to celebrate each day and if i want to celebrate each day i have to take efforts to invest in a relationship as the most important ingredient and the foundation in the business because i knew one thing that i didn't wanted to settle for small small things 
Okay, do did I want small things? Yes, I wanted a lot of small things, but I wanted big things also because I want I didn't want it to keep struggling every time for money, right? And that is why you know I didn't wanted to think about EMIs, loans, okay, how to do this, how to do that, okay, always see a price tag, okay, and then plan, and then after three months something comes home. This is used to happen to my house, and after three months, when something used to come home. after that also that something would be in the emi so this was something which was never ending and that is why i realized see it's like for example watching a tv channel okay so suppose you know sometimes somebody has a habit before business okay to watch the tv channel and if you are watching it for 2 hours also if you keep surfing keep surfing keep surfing it is very boring and after 2 hours you feel you didn't even actually see anything right so that is why i was i was very clear that you know mood swings okay this rejections okay all these things even if it comes on the way which it did i knew the solution that i have to kick them out because there was no time even for mood swings see i knew one thing that for example it's simple thing this is a simple example i'm giving you that i knew one thing that you know i i understood this opportunity is like a milk now if milk is in my hand i would know i can make butter milk out of it i can make curd out of it i can i can do lot of things right and that is why i was very very clear in my mind that i knew what is in my hand and i would surely grab that i will not waste my time and that is why the the key is actually consistency and consistency only happens by creating momentum and how to create thing how to create momentum is to by live in the momentum right so you know sometimes when we look back okay and like it's like yesterday okay it was a saturday okay so saturday was saturday is supposed to be the most important day in our business because it's also a weekend right but saturday needs to plan at least by wednesday or thursday right at least we should know that okay there are back to back plans back to back plans back to back plans back to back plans calling activities i'm going to be very busy right and i'm going to i i i don't want to become somebody else's agenda but this planning has to be done long back right so sometimes you know you should focus on the things that matter focus on the things that matter and make the time for the same stop saying again and again you are very busy and first of all i think i never showed even to my family that i'm very busy okay because i mean that poor family okay and when they look at you <laughs> you know you you gen you know generally we walk also we walk with so much stress okay and we walk with like you know and if somebody is talking also like okay just a minute and that poor family keeps wondering sometimes family also thinks that you are busy in what okay because sometimes you know you you show you know, we show that we are busy okay but actually you know that if 2 minutes you few talk to them in the morning 5 minutes you make them laugh nothing will happen nothing will happen it is better you no know, those 5 minutes where does it go it goes in thinking about something right so rather than thinking about something if we make them laugh even for 5 minutes nothing will happen right and that is why i feel that the real magic the real magic in the days when you start your day with the high priority goals the high priority goals okay that's where the real magic happens the importance of the whole energy the importance of the whole focus will actually go on the work then rather than thinking okay and when the work happens what happens doing start happens and when the doing start happens what happens you allow lot of opportunities for you not to ignore okay and you will try to see them because you are actually working so you have to decide today what is actually important for you okay i was just talking to someone that important is something which is long term 
and urgent is something which is short term right so you have to decide suppose you know sometimes i'll tell you an example okay sometimes when we say okay let's say on a wednesday okay last wednesday we we said to our apply oh there is something really urgent i'll call you back okay i'll be back in the association and maybe you didn't come right and today being a sunday if your apply ask you generally okay that uh, that urgent work on wednesday did you finish that work uh, was all okay sometimes you will not even remember what was the work getting my point because that is short term what is important is long term so please don't you don't sometimes we tell our friends only you remember me huh? you make me remember okay i i think i will forget but you make me remember how can your friend make you always remember bhai what is your priority in your life what is long term what is important okay how can they remember you every time okay so that is why you have to set your priorities see sometimes you know what 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 comes in between okay comes in between is like you know somebody's birthday comes in between neighbors kids birthdays okay some first floor uh, there is some some function in the building okay and something 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 comes in between and you also tell see sometimes no like i i'll tell you what honestly before business when i was in the job okay and when i know that you know like if i am the someone who is responsible to get food on the table now when all these functions come i don't even think about spending time with the people i think about how much money went in buying a gift right so what is what is that time and what is that quality time are we talking about by ignoring something which is important and attending something just to look good right my you no know, my my appliance and my mom always used to tell me that if you really want to do something big then obviously you have to set your priorities and to set your priorities it is important to know your priority it is very important and that is why i remember i learned in this business in my initial days to say a no respectfully which means how do i know this i remember once in the candies association i was going to my you know somebody's wedding okay and vc kotham said that don't go so i didn't get sulk okay i didn't get like you know like oh, you know let us matlab aise aise bol raha hai 36 baj gaye chehre pe matlab you you like such a big face okay and such a big face and sit in the association and show that oh i wanted to go and you told me not to go you never understand things okay you never understand how important that was for me okay i never said all these things okay if i didn't knew that i'm first initial days i didn't knew that and when my applying said that you know that uh, when he made me understand i understood oh it's a sunday i should focus on something which is more important right so initial days okay yes there were friends who were inviting me for movie yes there were friends who were inviting me for dinners but i decided to delete that from my life by choice just by choice because i didn't wanted to overburden my shoulders just to give a pleasure to my tongue by saying a yes because i knew what's my dream you know i knew my house bills i only have to pay right i knew that you know end of the day okay that would be temporary but it was a choice that i made not by spoiling my mood and for the friends who are your real friends they do understand okay it's completely okay and even if they don't they are friends they will understand right so i didn't had an expectation or you know that they would understand or something like that okay i knew where to draw the boundaries i knew what is more important for me that point of time is to give a better life to my parents because their age is growing rest things can wait better life to my i didn't had a kid that point of time now i have a 5 years old daughter but that point of time i knew what has to be ready when somebody comes into this world because i knew what i wanted when i was alive alive means when you understand life what is life when you start doing your expenses right so i knew what i wanted 
I I remember what were the blueprints. Few of them during my childhood. Okay, where I used to know that why I used to keep thinking why only mom comes to pick me up. Why does my father does not come to pick me up? Right. So I understood that he doesn't have time. I understood later he was working for me only. But all these things happened. Understanding came much later. But there was a blueprint that only mother can come to pick up pick up a kid. Now all these things I didn't want it that. coming child whoever would come that point of time when i started the business that to have that kind of a platform compromise not only in money but i didn't want to compromise in time also and then i understood slowly slowly that yes it's okay to say a no it's okay to say a no respectfully right see we all have to understand that all our uplines also have only 24 hours in a day so whether it is chief whether it is our founders whether it is vp sachin vp gavita okay vc gautam digi bhai uh, everyone rakesh everyone okay everyone adi bhai everyone we all have only 24 hours in a day right so how can we even think about wasting time i am sure money can be made some day somewhere but not so much how much it is over here plus time maybe money can be made but time may not be possible and that is why is there is no point of wasting time wasting time in lying around feeling depressed then watching tv then watching some shows okay and then thinking oh nothing is happening yaar it's not happening in the way you know that now what is the point and that is why in the whole day what matters the most is the association which worked for me okay because i could have easily gone into the same direction of laziness same direction of comfort zone same direction of thinking that when will my happen right but i that never came in my mind because i was in the right association i knew even if i'm traveling for the job i knew how to use my travel time right so see it is always said that you know you, you must have heard this before and see the difficult thing if you have seen any good books and everything okay if you like reading books okay the difficult part is not to really for a writer to write the book actually the difficult part is to sit and remove the time to write the book exactly similar way you know that the business is beautiful you know that the business is like like mind blowing this can change life this can change mindset this can change the way you look at life this can increase your bank account this can improve your the whole concept of legacy whether it is even in terms of mindset you know the outcome but for that you have to really commit yourself actually to the action right and see that that action thing no it actually comes from inside only but from inside it should not come ki you know sometimes when we go for the calling activity and even if we are at home sometimes we keep thinking ki andar se nahi aa raha it's not coming from within it's not coming from within actually it is nothing like that it is an action part that you absolutely need to get committed what we do is exactly opposite what we do i also did the same thing okay what we do we get the feelings plus first okay we we say we think oh how are we feeling today okay are we feeling good are we feeling like you know are we are we are do you uh, can i pass excitement to people can i pass happiness to people am i feeling good about today how is how am i feeling and as per the feeling we might take the action but actually it has to be exactly opposite first take the action i promise you happiness feeling will come along with that you will feel really good after taking the action right and that is why start taking action first nobody can do push ups for you nobody can do you only have to do so there is nothing in this world and nothing in this business that once a human mind decides he cannot do it but what is required is the first step which is more important the first step which is more important 
sometimes you know even in a day sometimes then you know there are neighbors here and there and sometimes they come we don't even say a hello okay we don't even say a hi like how would you actually start having a productive day like you no know, this is how you would start in the small small things see what happens is okay whatever happens in a day your productivity matters the most and in that your intention should not be diminished your intention should not go down you should not take too much time to take the first step which means you should not take too much time after you wake up to actually start the business activities right and if you don't remove time really it you know it will be very difficult to to experience that change first and to experience that change you have to remove time for example like you know if i also used to wake up at 5 in the morning yaar i say see it's not that i was born in this business okay no i used to wake up at 5 in the morning okay finish all the household work okay and then by 7 i used to leave home because by the time i have to if i have to reach my office at 9 i have to start at 7 from home sharp okay and then 9 i used to reach home 7 to 9 okay when i was on my way okay initial days before business i used to get very bored listening to the gossips of the people around me okay but then when i started the business i started reading books okay i started talking to my uplines in the morning okay i started writing affirmations right now that affirmations i used to write it because i used to believe in it right so i used to write affirmations i used to make sure that you know let like 5 minutes that i get on the breakfast table with my family when i was a jobby okay so i used to talk to them 5 minutes okay and i used to leave home right and after that the first call my start of the day okay has to be in conversation with my uplines it has to be in conversation with my uplines right because i never used to feel complete when i you know that point of time because i was doing a job also and first of all you know i it's like i i i used i was in love with the business and the first call that i used to give to get the energy back okay to get my energy to start the day because i used to feel that my day would be really good if i give a call to my uplines and i used to talk to them okay we used to plan the day okay we used to talk maybe sometimes business maybe sometimes non business okay that's how the day used to get start okay then obviously you know i on the way okay i used to keep updating my social media okay i never used to have very boring dps okay i never used to have very status messages which are uh, to tell somebody as something okay i i never used to do that okay so i used to have a very because see it's social media whatsapp status okay whether that time there was no insta now there is insta facebook all these things okay it says a lot about you right so i used to write uh, things in, there on the social media okay with something which i used to feel okay i never used to comment anything personal okay so that's how i used to get updated okay then i used to do a lot of bridging okay so i used to be continuously on the phone okay i used to connect a lot to my friends because this business taught me that how important it's not only to have friends but how important it is also to maintain the friendships right so when it was told to me do non agenda so i was doing non agenda so i used to do all those activities right and then obviously you know few people people uh, sign up few people don't sign up all that things happened like you know, i've said a couple of times before that there were a lot of people who said a no but i never used to not have a time for the follow up okay so i that was also a very important schedule in my day where i have to follow up few people don't get sign ups because they don't follow up and few people don't get sign ups because they don't follow up on time right so that's why certain things has to be done on time there has to be reminders right there has to be a grip on the whole day so my when my invitation should be go there has there was a proper list there was it was not something which was in my memory because i, I only don't trust my memory 
I know I'm not Einstein that I will remember everything. So I had lot of books that I used to carry to my office also. Rough book, name list book, books that we read. Okay, then uh, plan follow up book. Okay, so there were four five diaries, big diaries that I used to carry to my work, right? And after that, obviously, I used to keep adding. Okay, uh, in between, if there is a break or something, okay. So I used to connect to my uh, to people over there, but I also used to call up my upline again. Okay, just to talk, right? And moment I finish my work, okay, I used to go to the association. happily with the smile okay not considering as a work not feeling that i'm so tired and not thinking that what excuses can i make today never right so see the whole process about talking to people i used to enjoy it later because i i didn't know what to expect so i was enjoying it right from the journey of making a list to meeting people is prospecting right so i used to enjoy that whole journey okay and that is why building i learned how to build relationship in that process right so i used to read a book okay i used to spend uh, at least 30 minutes one hour one and a half hour to read the book okay i used to make sure that when i go to the association okay i get fresh okay have a tea or a coffee okay now this is not the things that i'm talking when i'm a when i was doing a job and the business together right and so i never saw the time when i was in the association i never used to feel that when will the day end no because i was living the day i was not spending time i was living the day when i was in the association my actual day used to start when i started the, when my association time used to get started right and i used to meet people i used to meet vc gautam rakesh akshat all these people i used to meet them okay and i used to spend lot of time with them i used to sit next to them when they used to talk to somebody else okay there was no one you no know, so see that point of time i used to observe because i see i i i had no one okay there was no team that point of time right so i used to observe okay i never used to sit and think that when will it happen okay i never used to compare and waste my time okay i never used to think that you know there happened why is mine not happening okay i never used to have this kind of a thought process because i used to utilize my time properly i knew that you know there are few hours now now i would not get a sleep if i don't finish my work because there's always a feeling that oh i didn't finish my work right so i used to read books i used to observe when vc gautam is taking plans so i used to observe okay what is the prospect doing what is you know what is the senior partner doing what is the ir doing okay so i used to observe all these things i took efforts on uh, in, uh, improving the name list i took efforts on improving the dream list i used to read books i used to keep um, talking to people on like business non business both right and that's how the association after the after all the plans and everything okay in between if there is a grooming school i used to finish attending the training and after that i used to go home but before going home i used to spend lot of offline time with my friends a lot of offline time a lot of masti a lot of conversation because sometimes i feel that just because i did that i think it worked for me because after the whole day i don't wanted to i didn't wanted to go home with the mindset of who said yes and who said no and whether it will happen or not it will happen i knew it will happen any which ways right so i wanted myself only to spend that time with my uplines because most of the learnings happened at that time right and yeah i used to go home back home okay and finish my one week okay so there are certain things that you know in a day which is something which is very important right for example we should know that what are what is a kyc what are the documents that are required for kyc okay we should know how to show an fp okay we should know basic things like we should know what is the book sequence we should know the name of the books we should know the name of the author okay we should know how to connect ourselves to the uplines in a day we should know how to connect our people with our family new people in the team with our uplines by taking time with them right we should talk to the team daily 
okay we should talk to our appliances daily right i should know how to make e cards right so this you know for example many is many of these things okay for example grooming okay so just because you know uh, when i uh, just because there is no plan i never used to go in casuals in the association okay i used to go as per the norms as per the uh, culture okay which is a formal or a smart casual right so whether there is a plan whether there is not a plan i used to always be ready for it right and that is why okay when the uh, no we'll talk about it but what i mean to say is that in a day you and i should check whether my day was a business generation activity day or not okay did i do business or not and i see it's not about not getting time from the job it's not about that okay i exactly managed it with the job right and i never crept also about not getting time even that point of time right so i used to know like my friend told me whether the day was a business generation activity or not which means nameless tradition personal plan personal catch up calling activity dkd plans right whether business generation activity is simple it's about activities business activities it's about showing a plan it's about doing a dr it's about doing a hot zone it's about doing a dkd right so i used to only check the whole day whether it was a business generation activity or not and if it is not then my day will not end right and second is it is more about the retention activities okay for example even if you are not taking a module but coordinating for the module edification of the module edification of the system coordinating for the system right like people you know sometimes when like in my case okay when i used to get lot of rejections okay so i used to spend lot of time with my appliances after the plan right so building relationship okay so all this comes under the retention activities okay when i i used to spend that part of the day in spending lot of time with people then it comes more to the development activities okay development activities means my knowledge okay my uh, no i see rather than somebody teaching you how to show the plan how to do the fp more you show this is what this is how i have heard okay more plans more plans more plans that your appliance shows for you your personal plans you automatically learn how to do it right you automatically learn how did they speak to them how did they connect to them right so so i talk no it's more about books it's more about dvds okay it's more about uh, doing things with by sitting with someone in that positive zone with positive people and this is how the development activities happens okay and for that you need to be more proactive you need to take more initiative because this spoon feeding cannot be given right so overall the attitude in the day even when i was a full uh, doing a job was not something where i used to become uh, you know find excuses of not being on ground because i'm getting very tired okay and not being on ground because uh, you know uh, because i you know because my body used to get really tired and i used to feel that they are not understanding it was nothing like that i never had i know it all attitude let me manage it by myself i never said this to anyone okay my response time whether it was group whether it was communication whether it was picking up phone okay or whether it was replying on the messages was not whole day okay which means one message comes in the morning the reply goes next day or in the night no it was i knew that for me this people are my life designers my appliances are my life creators and i cannot do cheating in this game i knew i need to be truthful over here right so that is why i i i was very much alive with my goals i was very much you know like i never had that grand appliance syndrome okay that you know like living in the past glory okay and then you know if something doesn't work 
okay and then the you know blame game happens blame game means blaming the situation blaming the economy blaming the uh, weather blaming mood swing whatever 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 right so i never used to blame anything rather i used to stand up and remove solutions and go all out right and that is why i think also some in my day i used to take feedbacks even after showing the plan i used to take a feedback that is there any feedback do i need to improve and when i used to take a feedback i had a willingness to take it also right so i used to take feedback after every plan sometimes when a plan my plan used to sit in my plan even when i'm taking the plan i used to take feedback even when i'm showing my personal plan i used to take feedback because i wanted to keep growing okay i wanted to keep growing and to keep growing to keep growing to keep growing you have to break the glass ceiling you have to take the control on the grip because all this training whatever happens this is not motivation sometimes people say oh it was very highly motivated it is not motivation it's inspiring so that we learn from them and we do the same thing so in my day i used to focus more on a uv generation activity rather than mindset making activity because mindset yaar it 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 happens automatically when you when you when you are so focused on your work and that's why there was nothing called as look good factor i never used to lie i never used to have any perception management that if i say this this will look good because with family what to do perception management perception management actually family knows everything about you family when i say i'm talking about your friends right so even if we i was doing a job i never used to take this business as a part time or a side by side business i never used to say that i never used to keep saying their excuses that i was in office i got stuck over there okay so even i don't have to stay whole night in the office no okay and my appliances are away whole night right so whenever 9 o'clock if the office gets over that was not late for me 10 o'clock if the office gets over that was not late for me 11 o'clock if the office gets over that was not late for me i still used to go and meet in association i never used to say that oh my boss is this my boss is that okay there is a month end or kya hota lot of you uh, know there is appraisal i never used to say all these things okay so i never used to travel i still remember when we decided to travel once initially okay it was my first anniversary we had booked a goa tickets and everything because i've never been to goa before that and we see gotham said no and we immediately cancelled it because vcon was coming and thank god that one decision trust me i have a lot of gratitude for we see gotham to be like straight you know and being honest to me and telling me what not to do rather than thinking that if i tell something she will feel bad because if that wouldn't have happened okay i no i would have screwed up everything right i never used to attend any functions okay never used to functions means see if if there was somebody's marriage no i had seen rakesh uh, his sister's marriage okay and i had seen that you know she was still there on the day of marriage okay so even in my family if there was any marriage functions and all these things okay i used to go 5 days before at night just give a gift talk for good like 30 minutes 40 minutes one hour maybe at 2 o'clock 3 o'clock at night and we used to spend good time because in any function people who has function the main people they don't even come and spend time with you so people also understand and i knew where i wanted to focus no i knew this very well and that is why i was not comfortable working in a job and to come out of that also i was okay to be uncomfortable i was okay to stretch myself because it was for me okay to manage one year khichdi like it was okay to manage one year year and then rather than managing 40 years and i didn't wanted to do that right so that is why even when i was in a job 
I was never coming to the association with my face off. Okay, I was never, no, I never used to show different faces, like, you know, different faces at home, different face in association, different first face while doing a job. I was super excited everywhere. Okay, because even when I was in the job, I knew I have, no, I have a better thing in my hand. So I was generally very excited. Nothing used to affect me. Right? Now, let's say even when I became a full-timer, right? So when I became a full-timer, okay, I did not go in the comfort zone. Okay, I did not behave like a Raja Bab. I did not behave like, you know, like, ha, it's okay to start, you know, like I'm taking a break after a very long time. I need to sleep till 10, 11, and then start my, uh, you know, uh, get ready by 12, and then start my day by 2. Okay, because VP Kavita had told, you know, you know, that's, that's not the way you work. Right? Start your day the way you would have started your job. Right? Or even before that. Right? And that's how, okay, I knew one thing that I never took granted even being a full-timer. Okay? So, I used to drive calling activities. I used to drive my personal activities. Okay? I used to do all these things because being a full-timer or whether I was even doing a job, I knew that, you know, that DR is very important thing in the business and moment if I'm a full timer I didn't want it to get lazy I didn't want it to feel like a king or a queen I didn't want it that afternoon sleep because all this thing is a trap trust me it's a trap right so then you no, know, we, we we say that you know like okay so the plan is in the evening okay so let's start we go to the plan and whole day what we did, yes, we showed two plans or sometimes even one, right? But the whole day, actually, nothing much happened, right? And I said in the beginning that networking is more about creating work, right? It's not about, so if, if, if we are taking plan, it's the, is somebody else who has lined up a plan for you, right? In that also, we didn't do much thing. Right, so the day has to start from the morning completely with the prioritized goal, right from the calling activities, right from everything. They cannot go as per the mood that you are feeling that day. That today, if there is a mood, let me talk to an upline. Today, if there is a mood, there is no mood, I will not talk to the upline. Okay, so personal activities was given a highest priority. Communication with upline was given the highest priority. Communication with upline is not always when things go good. Communication with upline is consistent because good is also is as per our standards. There is much higher goals, much higher benchmarks, right? So I because I didn't see my my uplines, okay. I see saw like a manager or a, you know like another boss. I never felt that about my uplines because I only saw my uplines from morning till night. Plans, 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 activities, plans, 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 plans. The day used to also I have seen some of them, okay, in the team even in Bandra, okay. If there is a closing going on, okay, the final transaction happened be below the street light also. Okay, so this is what I have been born and brought up with because I saw my uplines doing it, right? They never said, do this, you do that, you do this, and then you do this. Okay, they never said that. And then they never followed, did you do that? Did you do that? Okay, no, that is not the culture, right? So, see, it's like on an average, the most important thing is you doing your DRs. Until you do enough DR as per the goal or your goal that you would have set, don't expect anything in return. Okay, don't expect anything in return. See, it's like house. Okay, when you come to the house, imagine if there is nobody at home. Okay, so you go to somebody's house. Okay, and imagine if there is nobody at house. How would you feel? So actually, you should be the first person to enter the association. First person to come to the association. 
because you should be there whether rather than thinking whether somebody is coming or not whether he will come or not my people don't come only rather than thinking all these things i think you should be the first person to come to the association send your selfie and write i am in in your communication of one word group right and that's how it all starts from you right so how you ensure that your day is a money generating activity and what activity you should do is very important your cpa should never be zero should never be zero either you keep showing personal plans or you keep showing plan you keep doing 5 by 3 you keep doing 5 by 3 you keep doing 5 by 3 and 5 by 3 yeah the speed will be good but if you want to go in a ferrari speed it has to be 10 by 6 because i told you know anything that you do it has to now increase your self growth how would you do your self growth by reading books by getting enough knowledge there has to be a proper schedule even if you are a full timer okay don't become others agenda ha huh? you do this you do your one week agenda your one week schedule should be set yes the plans will go up and down the closing plans will go up and down which is okay but your one week schedule should be set and that one week schedule your upline should also know and your downline should also know this is called as accountability up and down and most important to yourself right so i used to see all my uplines busy from morning okay i didn't knew mera see i was not growing that point of time but i was not thinking that i was not growing that point of time i was only thinking that you know i i want to grow like them this is what i was thinking right so being in association not only when the team is there it is not about that you have to dance you have to create that energy even if you are alone things will happen i'm telling you okay too much thinking is not work dance and create energy okay even if there is a sunday system if you are alone also today dance okay learn what is multitasking learn how to manage the personal work learn something to sideline some things for the business but don't sideline the business okay because see entire day you don't a person doesn't get time to read groups i don't think so yeah we eat food we drink water we go to washroom then we have time to read groups also right so it's not that we don't have time to read group or we don't reply or then it's about what you want to do end of the day right so after the plan you should immediately log into the association don't disappear because the plan is over okay because it's not a very transactional business no ki ha chalo plan over now let's go back okay now i will meet you again in the next plan okay so in between where are you right so you have to prioritize you have to prioritize you have to make a proper plan okay don't go and sit somewhere in the native place or somewhere where there is no electricity there is no wifi there is no network okay plan things properly okay see you have to you have to see this is not about only signing up people it's life institution i told you before right so your willingness should be there okay how to qualify for ls ask your uplines how to qualify for ldc ask your uplines how did your upline finished all ls ldc ctc in one year ask your uplines what did they do in a day to get all ls ldc ctc qualified in the first year of the business ask your uplines they will tell you how to have a weekly goal they will tell you how to have a daily goal right but now in all this what you feel is very important so don't feel that you know i am not feeling good enough okay i no so don't feel all these things because it really doesn't matter it really doesn't matter okay you have to give power to your positive thoughts you don't have to give power to your negative thoughts so stop thinking all the time what is wrong in you now start thinking what is right in you okay because see end of the day okay this whole fear 
okay the fear of rejection fear of acceptance fear of people saying a no to me okay fear of relationship fear of all these things always pleasing everyone okay now understand okay what i'm trying is that the business you should be very clear you should set yourself where you are and where you want to be and if you are very clear about knowing that where you are and where you want to be you have to take 100% responsibility of your goals of having that life of freedom having an attitude of being successful and if you want an attitude of being successful there is a lot of difference between a doer and a dreamer a doer is someone who actually takes action and a dreamer is someone who only dreams so doer can also be a dreamer but it is important to be a doer and dreamer both okay and see it's okay you have to keep practicing you keep practicing you keep practicing you keep practicing with all the madness with all the craziness then you will come out of your normal routine okay and you will always have that child like curiosity inside you it is very important to have whole day that child like curiosity the whole day you should be in the player zone the whole day you should be in the no choice zone the whole day you should be real you the whole day you should be in the excited zone with no question asked only work 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 till it works and this you should understand that you should know what is the importance of time okay imagine okay just imagine huh? okay um, if you had a bank account okay that deposited 86400 dollars each morning okay in your bank account 86400 dollars each morning okay the account carries over no balance from the day to day okay which means it's like it it won't it won't carry over okay and every everything you have to finish it off okay everything which means that you cannot cancel the account you you have to use the account what would you do exactly similar way we all have such a bank we all have such a bank and the name of that bank is time each morning it credits you 86400 seconds every night you write it off you use it you fail to use it there is no there is no carry over there is no balance that can be left each day counts each account can be started fresh if you fail to use today's deposits it's your loss and you can't even appeal to get that time back because there is never any borrowing of time no you can't take it on loan okay you can't take it on loan just as the way you know it's 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 more about your life so do not get into the zone of self pity zone by giving your thought process too much importance yet why it is happening with me okay how would i manage no one is appreciating me no one is recognizing me why in the message my name is not there this is called as waste of time in the day right consistency is a real habit actually and the first way to get consistent is to first avoid all this thought process consistency in your daily business activities is the only way your day would be super super effective and many of us somewhat you know we are little consistent sometimes we are not little consistent sometimes and we are not little consistent sometimes means we are not consistent and this happens because we expect too much on the result zone right so you all have a goal that inspires you and you also know that difference between today all the successful people and not so successful people is consistency whether it is consistency in activities whether it is consistency in thought process whether it is consistency in everything that you do related to the business non business everything right and that is why if you want to have a routine if you want a day that is super super like effective then your success actually lies in the routine and we have to understand that that all the activities all the activities that you are supposed to do in the business your routine 
will actually become your habits and the day your habits change your life will be shaped trust me okay everything will start happening automatic you will not even realize it okay and that is why don't think that it is too hard to be consistent there are too many distractions i am too busy i will do it later i am not good in following a routine you know me no okay i am i have never done that okay i am never good in following a routine okay don't say that i don't know how to operate okay don't say that you no know, once i finish this you no know, once today is what today is what day sunday ha huh? so to, today is sunday tomorrow there is monday from tomorrow onwards you see okay from tomorrow onwards okay i will do it much tomorrow is not about tomorrow my uptan always says it's about now it's about doing now okay and that is why slowly slowly you will enjoy the you will enjoy everything and this list goes on but you should know how to cultivate that consistency you should know absolutely how to protect your mindset you should know that and that is why you have to maintain a perspective of that day and to maintain a perspective of that day you have to change right that is something which is very important and start from today start from now don't say that tomorrow onwards okay no start from now it's right now that we take certain decisions it's right now that you know i you the whole understanding that i need to be more consistent the whole understanding that i need to be more consistent in my daily routine activities i have to stop procrastinating and i have to make sure that i don't put stuff under the carpet because when you put st- what happens when you remove when you remove the dust okay and when you keep putting stuff inside the carpet it stinks okay so don't put things inside the carpet express learn talk okay communicate okay just just make sure that you know you do things you do the activities okay you ask right questions to your uplines get clarity okay and grab an upline seriously and tell him that you know what i want to grow i want i don't want to have a guilt feeling end of the day okay and you know your day the best you how do you know your day the day the best you know your day is best when you have given a uh, power to the hours that you have in your day by doing the activities and when you feel you have given your best that is the time the day goes very well right so you should know what it takes okay commit to your choices that you make in life believe in yourself and that is why if you want to believe in yourself okay the first thing you have to do is you have to fire up your passion okay keep putting fuel to it okay do everything that you do in life in a day passionately everything that you do in a day okay because when the passion increases you no know, immediately okay you know how to you know you know how logic doesn't work you know it's not about practical it's about madness it's about craziness you will automatically start initiating action you will not even only take action but you will start initiating action because now you have opened your doors right and you will start focusing on something which is more important so so this preparation time you, know, you should really value it okay because this preparation time just helps you to build a very 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 strong character a very strong character okay it will it will it's like who you are and what decision you take will decide your success right so you have to make sure you come to the seat which is driving okay just don't sit okay come to the seat which is driving try to raise your standard every time from the last time okay and that's how i'm sure okay maybe like it's it's not very difficult even to get max out trust me the small things small things small things if you do you can easily max out also right there is no time to go less or low feel low on your self esteem there is nothing like that just be in the seekers mode the whole day okay the whole day just be in the seekers mode okay and automatically you will see things happening okay automatically you would see that some comments this doesn't matter to your life you will not feel bad okay so sometimes happens that when you show one plan you have a lot of expectation from that plan okay and it was like and you feel that oh this is like done and for next 10 days we don't show a single plan because we feel this is done 
but actually when like my friends told me if you're very very busy in showing plants very busy in showing plants if somebody says a yes if somebody says a no it will never matter because the goal was to show at least one plant a day at least one plant right that was the goal right so most important thing like my upline always says that you know vp kapit always says that characters are built in valley right so when you see the mirror start of the day and when you see the mirror end of the day you only see that did you do info calls at a double speed did you show plants at a double speed did you no did you did you did you feel not bechara that day okay did you feel really that okay that if this aspect is very important for my career to go next level i am going to give my best and 100% by pumping up myself right did you feel that okay did you feel that moment you come to the association ask to hey i am going to give my best do you come to the association this way okay do you come to the association that whatever i am going to do is going to be the best okay do you see it's 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 more important that what you do the whole process is more important rather than the result okay which is more important okay so you know i'll, I'll tell you what okay i'll tell you one story okay there was one uh, there was one laundry you uh, know there was one house okay and uh, the wife was peeping out of the window okay and uh, she used to see all the some neighbor of hers okay used to keep all dirty clothes in the road on the road okay and wife used to always complain to her husband okay ki are ye kya matlab you know it's it's so uh, dirty clothes then one day happened two days five days one week the dirty clothes were over there okay but you know what happened end of the week husband said clean the window first you know what the problem was the clothes were not dirty the problem was the habit of complaining outside rather than improving inside okay so when she wiped the window she saw it was not dirty clothes were not dirty it was the window that was dirty so my point is that do you feel the same excitement or you are always the victim of your thought process up and down this will keep happening okay but you should be loving your life small small issues see world has not stopped no small small things will keep happening right will keep happening even if you are not well okay i know all my uplines who were not well okay specifically even positive okay but still i think they, they used to say that without business they would feel more sick okay so even sometimes if there are little like if see if you are little not well does not mean we don't reply we are not there there are solutions to everything trust me there are solutions to everything if you love doing something solutions will come automatically right so you have to take a control of your life or na aag lagni chahiye yaar that fire should be there when you come na each day when you wake up no there has to be so much excitement in that waking up also that that fire should be there okay and so don't limit yourself you have to push yourself you have to push yourself don't let that kida come again and again again and again okay i'll tell you one more story okay there was one one guy okay who was staying in a town okay and uh, okay he never thought that he wanted big things in his life okay he never thought that and suddenly okay one one day no suddenly okay one fairy came okay and when that fairy came okay he uh, the fairy said go into the garden and there is one large treasure box for you full of gold and all okay but you should not think about anything that comes in between okay if you think about anything that comes in between okay the treasure will go away now while he was walking towards the treasure he started thinking how did this happen why did fairy came why did fairy came to my house do i really need the treasure and in all that thing the treasure box got disappeared because this is called as kida of asking questions okay kida of self doubt kida of not no kida of not if there is something is coming welcome no welcome it so you should learn that this the whole process the magic is in the process trust me and that is why each day that you do each day that you do it really matters a lot it really matters a lot right and slowly slowly you would not even come to know that how things change how things happen 
so don't be lazy laziness will trust you okay passion is more about starting ownership is more about starting nothing will be perfect so don't get into that zone at least start first at least start first because happiness follow in anything that you do with heart in anything that you do with heart so let's not be walking dead bodies okay let's not be you know like uh, uh, you know let's not have a regret in life you know what regret that i wish i had a courage to lead a life true to myself and not what other people expected out of me i really wish to do that so stick do not have this kind of a regrets in your life okay do not get any tensions in your day ki mera kab hoga when will it happen when will it happen no anything worthwhile that happens in life will have a waiting period it's not about instant gratification it's never about instant gratification i waited i waited i never gave up i i decided to stick to the process even during the down time because that is more important process and enjoying the process is more important than the results so even if you feel shaky don't take shortcuts because that will lead to desperation right my greatest pleasure in a day used to be only in working because before success you have to actually start loving the process when you fall in love with the process that will become your habit and automatically you will come out of the comfort zone okay so when we go to the upline with same problem again and again again and again again and again i think most of the time the self check is important so what is important is implementation if you decide where and where trust me where and where like in the association even if it's on zoom start on time right and don't end till the work gets over don't end because see it's the weakness of the character that we don't stick to what we have decided right so you have started the business don't end don't waste your time okay don't leverage on the negative habits <laughs> don't leverage on the procrastinating thought process leverage on your time and that is why if you have to sideline some it's like you know when you when you clean your wardrobe you put few things aside right you sideline it it's the same thing what is important you keep it it is exactly similar thing okay so success in terms of growth is the real success so please don't be rothumal tripathi which means don't be a complaint box be happy be energetic move on move on okay be action oriented no emotional hangouts don't get angry but change the situation plan your day better just to summarize what we spoke plan your day better increase your goal to double it's an opportunity for your brain to go further in life so don't get stuck thinking that what we think is the best may not be right don't use people to build business use business to build people with a growth oriented mindset and that's why you should know how to protect your mindset and to protect your mindset you should be a good listener an absolute good listener have a daily routine of having a gratitude even if whatever happens have a gratitude never give up you know why you should never give up because if your daily routine is super as per the plan your hard work will pay off one day so always remember why you got started so please say a goodbye to negative people <laughs> okay negative thought process enjoy a lot be always in the in service zone and make sure that you have your journeys you have your stories okay you have your stories which look how would you how would you say your story okay so your story has to be always remember what did you enjoy in the whole process right so never have a guilt never have a regret to waste a day because trust me there is no time okay and i, I think it's a personal decision to take a decision not to waste time at all right so all the best for your business generation activity always each day live that day don't end the day if the day is still not having their business generation okay thank you so much and i'll see you next time thank you the recording has stopped